Hi, I'm Vianchi Chanel and I play Penny Lou Pingleton. I'm Charlotte Hannah-Jones and I play Tracy Turnblad. I am Michael J. Batch and I'm playing her mother, Edna Turnblad. And I've only asked you to do character names because I'm going to get you guys to tell me each of us about each of us characters, make it more fun. So can you guys tell me a little bit about each of us characters rather than your own? Yeah. Penny's my best friend. Um, she's very ditzy but smart at the same time, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're joined at the hip through the whole show, which is great. Yeah. I think it's easier if I do you, isn't oh, it, really? Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, Tracy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've done it yeah. every round. I should have done that. I know, sorry. Yeah. I've not had uh, any seeds in it. I know. <laughs> Obviously, Tracy is my daughter. Um, she is a larger than life character. Um, physically and mentally, um, but has great ambition and is very, very confident and very courageous. Um, yeah, that, I think that sums her up really, doesn't it? Yeah. Edna Turnblad, yeah. Tracy's mother. Um, I think she's very supportive of what Tracy does. She doesn't have much confidence, but she's a, a very loving, kind mother. Also takes in Penny. Penny's got quite a scary mother um, and a lot of love between her and Wilbur which I think is shown throughout the show which for me is I think their number's super special for that reason. So, so Hairspray's been around for quite a few years now yeah. mm -hmm. so what attracted you guys to this production? Uh, I mean the f fact is, I mean the the surroundings here are beautiful yeah. for a start off the venue is gorgeous and you know in the grounds and everything like yeah. that um and also what's so attractive is because they've been doing shows here for so many years it's already yeah. got a reputation yeah, I was just yeah. so like before we'd even thing. opened we'd sold like 75 80% of the tickets yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and so yeah i think that's that's attracts as a performer mm -hmm. you want a good turnout and a good yeah. audience yeah, don't you definitely. you know i think as well like because it's an original production and version of hairspray and yeah. we're the first people people to have done that and that's really exciting kind of almost starting from scratch even though the script and score is how it is because this um, is the first open air version yeah. isn't it? yeah yeah, yeah. that's yeah, really yeah, cool yeah. to be part of that um so yeah yeah very lucky yeah. then what is, have you approached the challenge of this production like you say creating a new production open air mm -hmm. yeah kind of how you approach that um, the bugs have been the worst part about it. <laughs> I've been bitten so many times on my yeah, legs from the bugs. Yes. <laughs> that's one of the thought challenges. A, they thought she was a buffet. <laughs> yeah. that, but you didn't bitten that much. Did. But yeah, it's not, yeah, that's the only thing. And yeah. obviously weather. I mean, we've yeah. been very lucky so far. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, there was one day during tech rehearsals when it was literally torrential <laughs> and we're all huddled in our costumes, yeah. you know, in a corner yeah. trying yeah. to keep dry. Yeah. Um, but apart from that, I don't think there's been any other particular no, major challenges you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I feel like it's good because it's cooled down a bit hasn't it now yeah yes, yes. yes. Like, yeah so bad. then like you say the open air element do you have to approach that differently as actors kind of any way you have to prepare um, voice or anything different it's, yeah, it's quite I dry think, outside sometimes yeah isn't i think yeah. anyone yeah. that's hay fever sufferers yeah. Yeah. um i think just finding different things that you can use to mm. help with like you're saying, yeah, if your voice is dry, if you sneeze, things. you don't want to sneeze mid scene. <laughs> yeah. um, anything like that, really. Otherwise, I don't, yeah, know, I don't know. I don't know whether it affects any of the, the, the dancers in the show later in the evening as the temperature drops. Because obviously well. they have to keep, keep, their, yeah, keep their joints warm and supple because otherwise injuries can happen. But, mm -hmm. yeah, you know. Yeah, it's such a fast paced show, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we yeah. don't have to. You, every, <laughs> don't have nobody time. has time <laughs> to think. You're literally on off, on off. Yeah. It's only yeah. during your. You and Steve's song in Oh yes, I'm a obviously because Edna and Wilbur have <laughs> their, their duet and obviously we have carte blanche to do what we like. Um, so yeah, I think they all do sit backstage and get comfy <laughs> <laughs> for a little while, have yeah. a break, you know. So. Yeah. yeah, obviously the themes of Hairspray are still very relevant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very yes. Why do you think it's lasted, obviously the relevant themes, but why do you think it's lasted to this day having new productions like this one? I think it's such a feel-good show, isn't it? Yeah. Even, it's got such a, even though it's got such a strong message, I think everybody knows it, everyone knows the songs. It's, yeah. like, it's such a great feeling at the end of the show when everyone's up dancing at the end. Yeah. Um, I think it's just a show that you can't not... There's nothing not to like about it. No. So I think that's why it's going on And also, on so I long. think it is, is, is quite relevant now because it seems at the moment... Um, Prejudice is, seems to be rearing its ugly head a lot more than it ever had before. 
um, obviously Black Lives Matter and all that sort of thing. Um, and even like um, my character being, she's overweight, she doesn't want to leave the house. And I think that's quite prevalent as well mm -hmm. because you've got um, trolls on the internet and Twitter mm -hmm. and Instagram who are making people feel awful about how they look and how they feel. And I think that's the thing, the whole message of this show is it shouldn't matter who you are, what you are, yeah. size, color, creed, gay, straight, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You you should be able to go out and, and enjoy yourself and be who you want to be. And I yeah. think that's the strong message of this show, for me anyway, that's yeah, sort of, you know. Mm -hmm. Then do you guys ever have to like, go back to any other material? Like, there's obviously a film, there's obviously been stage versions of the mm -hmm. show. Do you ever kind of, when you get the role, do you ever go back for that or do you just go kind of blind into it? Um, I think I've watched the film so many times mm -hmm. that yeah. <laughs> I just think yeah. I need to watch it again. Yeah. But because it's such, I think even like the Broadway version and the West End, like it's been so many different yeah. tours yeah. and things that yeah. obviously people who do do them slightly adapt them. So I don't think any of them are all exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's nice to put your own version and your own sort of... It's been style exciting, to it. It. Yeah. yeah, and I've always been a huge fan of the original film yeah, yeah. Yeah. before it even was it because yeah. that was 1988 that came out. Um, and yes, I was alive, I know you can't believe that, <laughs> I look so young. Um, but uh, yeah, that was out in 88. Um, and so even then, years then, I was like, oh, this would make the most incredible musical. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then and then it happened, you know, but yeah, I think as a performer, you and you're doing a show that's come yeah. before, you do watch want to watch previous things but i yeah. think it's good Just to try other. and approach yeah. it f in your own way yeah, you know for sure yeah. and then if you guys could ask your characters one question what would you ask them oh, not me <laughs> i think I'd, i think i'd ask tracy where she gets all her confidence from so i would love a bit of tracy's confidence uh, yes in my life absolutely. she just has no fear yeah. no she doesn't care what anyone thinks of her she doesn't she doesn't care what any, what, if she looks a certain way, she looks different to everyone. Like all the nicest kids uh, look completely different to her. She does not care, she just wants to dance on. Like, mm. I'd love a bit of Tracy's confidence. That's a really good yeah. one. Like, where um, does she get it from? I think I'd ask Penny how she stays so bubbly and happy with her home life, being how it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would ask her how she continues. Um, I think that'd be the, the, the question I'd ask, yes. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'd ask Edna. Probably what was her least favourite diet, probably. Because <laughs> 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 there's a line in the show when she's talking about her diet pill is wearing off. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, maybe, you know, why, why she is so scared of the world. But the problem is, is I'm also, I've spent my life, I've always been a bigger person. So I sort of understand where she's coming from, you know, because I've had yeah. that in my life from people. But yeah, let's keep it lighthearted, shall we? <laughs> What's her least favourite diet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. amazing. And if you could switch characters to one performance, who would you switch oh. to? I'd like to be Velma. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it says me, I spend my life on stage in a dress, but yeah, I think I'd love to be Velma. Oh. Be nice to have a have a have a, a day of, of being totally venomous yeah. <laughs> you know yeah I oh know. i don't know that's a tough question corny collins i was literally about to say yeah. 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 much. Corny. <laughs> oh no i'd love to uh play i just really want to be do your duet Oh, so right. it's either of the parts. So I just okay. think it just looks so fun. Yeah, and for it's me, it's laugh. just, I just love the number. Um, and both of you, both of you yeah. are just brilliant at it. So I'd say either of those two. Oh, mm. I'll pay you later. <laughs> 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 but then all the words you've said, can you condense it into hairspray and just three words? Well, I would probably say fun. <laughs> and it's you and you that for me, I went <laughs> Um I don't, oh, I don't know. Fun, fun, I mean, I think relevant would be a good word as well, as like we've said with, with, with how the world is today. Fun, relevant and funny. You know, mm. it's, it's hilarious. It's a, it's, it's, so it's a really funny show as well as having a serious message. It's a really funny show as well, you know. Um, I'd say inspiring. Yes. Um, I'd say... Um, Uplifting yeah. and fun. Yeah. E. No, I didn't word funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's energetic. It's feel good. 
and it's like it has a positive message mm -hmm. you come out feeling good yeah. i think when you sometimes you go to theater and you come out like oh that was really that was so good but i cried the whole time yeah this one you come out like yeah i feel really good yeah, yeah. i feel good yeah nice the next section is probably terribly corny so strap in because i was like making questions corny. based on the songs oh, cool. so okay. it doesn't really work but some of these are terrible so okay. roll, roll <laughs> with it we will it's all right so roll with it. good morning mm -hmm. yeah what is your guys favorite breakfast <gasps> right i had it this morning <laughs> Smashed oh, avocado, <laughs> smashed avocado fried egg and halloumi bagel. Mm. Got no jello behind just here. <laughs> With a bit of chilli jam. Yeah. Oh, that's my favourite, yeah. Um, actually, I just, I do love beans on toast. But with cheese, oh. cheesy beans oh, on toast. Cheesy, yeah. beans on toast. <laughs> <laughs> cheesy beans on toast. Yeah. Proper trad. Obviously, you know, this you can tell from this body, I do like a full English. Mm -hmm. That is the best mm -hmm. to have, a proper full English. Yeah. But if I'm behaving myself, a couple of crumpets with lots of oh, butter. Oh, oh. I love yeah. a crumpet. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Good choices. Nicest kids in town. Okay. TV show, wasn't it? Corny Collins show? Yeah. Yep. What TV show would you guys want to be on, to be on any of them? <gasps> I'd love to be in an ITV crime drama. I've always wanted to see an ITV crime drama. Mm. Mm. See, I'm going to go proper old school because I'm an absolute, um, absolutely mad on I being served because mm -hmm. I, I just love that sort of daft old British humour. So What's that would program? that would be. See, so you have no idea, do you? <laughs> She's only seven. Um, it's called How Are You Being Served? It's like a 70s and 80s sitcom, but really, really like camp and, you know, fun and silly, lots of innuendo and all oh, sort of thing. And I always wanted to be in that as a kid when I used to watch it. That's um, a good one. But yeah, well, I wouldn't mind going on a soap, maybe, you know, running the, the salon in Coronation Street. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone's listening? <laughs> Mine's a bit old school as well, only because I was talking about it the other day, but like dinner ladies, anything oh. that was Victoria oh, Wood. Oh, yeah, incredible. I would love uh, anything like that would have been, yeah. Yeah, solid. She's yeah. incredible. Oh. Uh, Mama, I'm a big girl now. This one doesn't work, but proudest achievement to date. Doesn't really fit with the song, but... Does it have to be like theatre related? No, whatever. Oh my God, so I always, this is my proudest moment ever, I organised an 80 bus coach okay. <laughs> from college <laughs> to the O2 arena and back. Everyone paid me the money and I organised it and it's my greatest achievement. Well, that's Because everyone that got on the bus, we got there on time and we got home in time and I organised it. That is quite that good. Is, that so that's good. my biggest achievement. That is pretty good. Uh, uh, completing the London Marathon. Oh, I don't know if you knew that. I know I mentioned it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'd say that's my biggest achievement. Yeah, that's pretty big. I don't know what to say now, really. To be honest, though, um, I always always wanted to play Edna I mean because I love the show so actually I would count what I'm doing now as probably one of my biggest achievements to actually get the role that I've always wanted to do so um I agree I, yeah. agree. I do the bus one is but I, like, I agree <laughs> yeah. with that oh yeah <laughs> playing Tracy well, yes. <laughs> yeah, <of course. laughs> uh, I can hear the bells this one doesn't work either but what was the first piece of theatre that you guys saw that you can remember seeing Alice Bray. nice yeah first piece I saw it in 2007 at Shaftesbury Avenue in London. It was the first musical I ever saw. Nice. Um, I don't know what my first was, but we're on the Hairspray theme. One of the first was when it was very first in the West End. Um, yeah. When was that? I think I was 13, maybe 15. Mm. Um, and I remember coming out and just saying, <coughs> it's the best thing I've ever seen. And I really, really want to play Penny Lou Pingleton one day. So that's a really exciting moment for... Obviously, because I'm playing it now. Yeah, which is cool. yeah, um, so, yeah, I'd say I can't remember what the first was, though, but I'd go with that, yeah. The thing is, I always used to go to the theatre as a child to see all the pantos so that's my parent my my dad and my granddad always used to take me and i can i can probably i think it was about seven and i saw um grot bags and the, and the crankies in aladdin in my hometown of canterbury so that's the first thing i remember theater was my first musical i saw uh les miserables in the west mm. end um when i was at college so i was about 16 so um yeah incredible nice welcome to the 60s obviously the 60s time travel if you could time travel anywhere backwards, where would you go to? These questions. Um, I don't know. I have always said, because I did, years ago, I lived in Brighton briefly, and I've always wondered how it would all look, the pier and everything would look back in the Victorian times with all the ladies mm. with their big hats and their bustles mm. and all the... So may, maybe that, you know, back to a time when people... Um, 
actually made an effort and dressed up when they went out, you know. Yeah. You know not went to the supermarket in their pyjamas like they do these days, <laughs> yeah. you know. I think I'd go to the 80s. Oh, that's what I was going to say. My mum always said she had a great time in the 80s, so I'd go back to the yeah. 80s. I'm going to... Well, I was already I? there. <laughs> I don't have to travel back. I was already there. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. I'm going to agree with that because I love 80s music mm. and I just think I'm going to live my best life. Imagine um, going to a concert in the 80s. This is the vibe, yeah, see? So, yeah. Your hair would look lovely crimped. Cute. Side pony. Oh, that's, that's what they're doing. There you go. Your time is to me. Mm. What does theatre mean to you guys? Um... Well, it pays the mortgage. I mean, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, um, I don't know. Obviously, theatre, it, it's. Um, I mean, I've done a lot of more of comedy stuff. I'm more of a comedy performer. Um, and the sound of other people's laughter is just the best sound in the world to me. It's yeah. like a drug. I'm, it, it, I'm obsessed with it. Um, so um, to me, it is all about the entertainment and. Mm -hmm. And making it's escapism. Yeah, Those people just for that, that yeah. just for that couple yeah. of hours, they're not thinking about yep. the rubbish they've got at home and <laughs> this going on, that going on. Yeah. They're engrossed in what they're doing, and you're entertaining them, and having a great time. And that, to me, is the most. That's the most important thing, I think. Yeah, it's an escape from your life as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't have you like you're not you're on stage worrying about when. when just worry about anything that you're in your life you're just like mm. i get to do this for two and a half hours mm. i don't have to think about anything else apart from this and yes that's that's great about it as well i'd agree with both of you and to be able to play different characters <clears throat> i love that being able to and then put a bit of yourself into yeah. them as well um but yeah i'd say escapism for audience members and us as performers and create mm. for me creating friends and connections with people mm -hmm. that perhaps yeah. i would never have met if i wasn't in the theater world yeah um which i've feel very grateful for that I have some very special people in my life from that world, so. Mm. Guys, that's yours. Yeah. Oh, that's really, I'll cut my bed out. <laughs> <laughs> Without love, if you guys weren't in theatre, what would you be doing with your life? Um, I work in a behavioural school um, when I don't do theatre, so I think I would definitely go into um, that full time, I think. Really enjoy it. Uh, I think... I'd be unemployed for a while. Um, yeah. <laughs> many GCSEs. Yes. Oh, I know. Um, I do love animals. Maybe one day I would have. Maybe I would become a vet or something. But um, yep. <laughs> Apparently, when I was younger, I wanted to be a fireman. So maybe that's it. Maybe. Really? That's all I wanted to do. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. There you go, guys. Well, years ago, before I did performance, I trained in hairdressing. So basically, I'd probably be in a salon somewhere. Mm -hmm. Also, I sew and I make costumes, so I'd probably be doing that as well. So, um, but yeah, wig, probably wigs and costumes is probably what I'd be doing, so. Nice, good answers. I know where I've been. What was the last piece of theatre you guys saw? Oh, I, I, I saw, um, oh, I remember. Back to the Future yeah. um, uh, in the West, which I absolutely loved. I thought it was incredible. Oh, I saw Bake Off. The Great British Bake Off musical. Yes. Fantastic. Loved it. I've definitely seen something since, but I can't remember, so I'm going to go with Only Fools, I think was the last thing I saw before it closed. I think. Nice. It's Hairspray. What is your favourite song in this show? Ooh. I'm going to have to say my duet, Timeless to Me, oh, yes. just because what, we not have. Any of my <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, because I'm not any of those. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, I am well for the 60s. But no, I just, because I like, I just, I, I just love, um, it's just me and Wilbur and just, we can play and have fun or whatever. Yeah. And I really, and it's one I enjoy singing as well, you know, and it's humorous and it's funny. Um, but yeah, I do that. So and then good, Welcome yeah. to the 60s is probably the second favourite. Is it? <laughs> We're both like, with this manic quick change. <laughs> it's her and I screaming backstage. <laughs> My wig's wigs, on. wigs fly I in and whatever. Wigs, great. I mean, if she loses a wig, she has hair. I don't. <laughs> so it's. <laughs> uh, what's my favourite song in the show? Um, I love doing without love. I like that one. Yeah. Um, Welcome to the sixties when the dynamites. It'll oh, forever oh, be my favourite. The dynamites yeah. are incredible. Any production yeah. when they end it, the three of them, it's just so iconic. Yeah. It's great. Um, so that's the, my fave. Yeah. And you can't stop the beat. What is your favourite piece of theatre you've ever seen? Oh, that's a big oh, question, yeah. isn't it? Um, I don't have one, I've got two. 
Uh, mm. Scottsboro Boys, when I went to see that, I thought it was absolutely incredible. Uh, and when I saw Beverly Night in Memphis, uh, that was amazing. Um, I'd say those two. I love Billy Elliot. When I saw Billy Elliot, I love Billy Elliot. The kids yeah. are just so talented. Anything with kids in, I'm like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. So talented, yeah. yeah. Um, I think the one and which was I got to see the colour purple on Broadway, wow. um, and that is incredible. And it's such a basic show set wise, but the performances and the, the voices mm -hmm. and the and you know in the, the obviously the film originally you know it's incredible. Um, yeah, that did really move me. Amazing. Well, that completes the first little section. So okay. I'm going to say the hairspray is on until the 6th of August. Tickets are pretty limited. So they are. book now. Yes. Book. Book. They Amazing. Are. You can pause. <laughs>